been disproved, not by me, I should say, but by Professor Richard Lindzen of MIT. Now, you saw the economic calculations I showed you on the Lord board up in there. Header. And that's very, very simple. It just says one trillion tons, one Fahrenheit degree of warming foregone. And that means there's no point in trying to do anything about it. But now, if we can go to the wise up window, I'd like to show you <laughs> a graph right. from Lindzen's paper. Now, what you see there is the, there are 11 separate computer models graphed there. And they all show that as temperature rises at the sea surface from left to right along the bottom there, then the outgoing radiation at the top of the atmosphere is predicted to fall because all the greenhouse gases in the atmosphere that we're putting there are stopping the radiation from getting out. But these are predictions by the Xbox 360s and Playstations of the UN. It's what I call globalised groupthink. There is no scientific basis for this. Indeed, it right, contravenes so, the laws of... So, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for being such an idiot here, right. but that makes no sense to me. Let me just see if I have it right. Okay. The red line going down is the prediction, yeah. right? That's right, yes. And it, and it means uh, that the, the radio... What's escaping out into space... You get less and less escaping you get out into space right. as it's the temperature staying. increases. As the temperature increases, less and less radiation gets out to space. Right. Because the greenhouse gases thicken because of the temperature increasing, right. and they stop it getting out. Right. That's, that's the prediction. That's the Got actual it. theory. If you don't predict that, you can't say there's a problem with CO2. All right. If we could have the next slide, I'll show you what really happened. And now look in the middle there. That is a measured result. It took 20 years to compile that one little graph. Professor Richard Lindzen of MIT, the foremost meteorologist in the world, he knows more about this than anyone else alive. He took 20 years, he had to wait until he had enough data points that he could do that graph reliably. And it shows that as the temperature increases, so the amount of radiation going out into space also increases. You'll see that the direction of the graph is completely different in the real world, that's the green one from the Earth Radiation Budget Experiment Satellite. So, okay, so the green is what actually that's happened. That's what really happened. And the red lines all around it that's are, all the, are what, what all the predictions. That's the Xbox.